tattooed all at the Roosevelt Island Visual Arts Association Gallery Riva. If you haven't been there, you should stop by. They always have amazing installations. I also want to thank President Elizabeth Stapen for being an important catalyst to getting this artwork created. We are so very lucky to be a Mecca on for tourists from all over the world, especially folks uh, like Kla and Gustav Kretz. And uh, we thank you very much for creating this beautiful work for the children and putting so much thought into making it something that people will actually want to touch and uh, ride on. And I will say that uh, we are lucky to have the Blue Dragon here on Roosevelt Island, all 4,400 pounds and 10 feet of it here today. And uh, what I will just say is, uh, as somebody who grew up in the city, there's so much art everywhere, but it can be kind of boring. And all you want to do when you're a kid in New York City is climb on anything and everything. And perhaps some of us haven't grown up yet, because I can't wait for me to get a chance to hop up on that dragon too. And I invite adults to embrace their little children and all the children to tell your friends about this and come and share the blue dragon. Uh, we're so grateful for this generous gift, and uh, thank you. I'd like to ask Lev Pogrotsky, who is the Council General of Sweden, to join me here. He's currently the Council General of Sweden in New York, and he has held various positions prior to that time, including being in the cabinet for uh, 10 years of service. We'd like to thank him. Um, along with the other Swedish dignitaries that are here today for joining us for this great ceremony. Dear friends, good morning everyone. Uh, it is really uh, a joy and a privilege for me to be here today to be part of this very special ceremony. Uh, I also want to thank Ulla and Gustav for uh, being here with us to hand over this tremendous gift in person. Uh, I also want to thank our, uh, extend a special thanks to our local resident and also I might add former colleague at the Consulate General of Sweden. Elizabeth Halvarsson Stapel for not only introducing Bud and Gustav to Roosevelt Island but to Tad Sudol and Susan Ruthens Rosenthal which eventually led the Kreitzes to donate this wonderful sculpture, Blue Dragon, to the island and place it here in beautiful South Point Park. One of my most important tasks in my position as Consul General is to promote Swedish arts and culture in New York. And this spring certainly has been marked with a number of high-profile activities in and around the city. It's both exciting and gratifying for us to see this growing interest in Swedish arts and to strengthen the Swedish public presence in New York. Swedish artists such as Ulla and Gustav, play a very valuable role in the great partnership between Sweden and the United States. I'm thrilled that my good friends Ulla and Inge Westberg were able to uh, join us here today. Ulla was my predecessor as Consul General here in New York, a very successful one. And, uh, they are both great friends of the Kreitzes and have worked closely with them for many years. <coughs> Ulla and Gustav Kreitz are among the world's foremost sculptors and ceramicists. Their work is exhibited and installed all over the world and not least here in the US. I'm honored to take part in this unveiling of their latest piece in New York City, Blue Dragon. Although it really is remarkable that Ulla and Gustav managed to find a spot 
positioned directly towards the United Nations headquarters. And the eyes of the dragon are facing the Dreitz's Wallenberg Memorial placed just in front of the main entrance of the United Nations. As a Swede, I am particularly pleased that Ulla and Gustav made their sculpture child-friendly, making this place also a place of inspiration, a play for children, for the children of Roosevelt Island, and in, on a daily basis as part of their daily lives. Back home in Stockholm, outside the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, just below the window of my office for four years, Another Wallenberg memorial was inaugurated a few years ago. A piece that has already become one of Sweden's most important pieces of sculpture. So, once again, it's an honor and a privilege for me to be here. I want to thank Ulla and Gustav again and everybody else who has worked to make this project possible. Finally, I want to congratulate Roosevelt Islands and all of its residents for this wonderful gift. And thank you all for inviting me. I felt a few raindrops, so we are going to move a little more quickly. Um, I'm going to introduce uh, next Hans Sudol, who's an architect and an artist, and currently the president of Riva. Those of you who know Tad know how passionate he is about art and Roosevelt Island and bringing more and more art to this island. It was through his passion that it was almost like it was contagious. I became excited too. And with his hard work and the hard work of Elizabeth Stapen, the dream of Lazy Dragon came true.
So, so this is the project which we need help also from Ben. But thank you, Susan, for your support in every project which we are doing, and we are very grateful to the entire team from Rio and especially Susan. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Elizabeth Stapen. You've heard a lot about her already. She's an art consultant working with Gustav and Ula since 1998. And she served as Senior Cultural Affairs Officer for the Consul General of Sweden in New York. She was instrumental in the journey that the Blue Dragon took from Hamburg, Germany to here on Roosevelt Island. I drove her crazy and she was good natured during the whole time and made sure it came here in time for today. Thank you so, so much. Hi. Well, I'm going to cut this short here uh, because uh, I watched television this morning and they said that this day is going to be a, a, a dynamic day. And maybe it's the weather that fits the dragon. So I'm just going to say a few words about my background and my collaboration. My collaboration with Gustav Kreitz started with the inauguration of the Wallenberg Monument in 1998 outside the UN at 47th Street and 1st Avenue. I was at that time working as a culture affairs officer the Swedish government and the Nobel Foundation had commissioned the crisis to create a monument to honor the life and work of diplomats and humanists from Wallenberg, New York. Unfortunately, one of the columns soon after was damaged the construction in the area and we continued to work on planning the repair and removal of the damaged piece to be replaced. Cornell can go see her 
at Riva Gallery. She actually has office hours there. Through her efforts and those of Andrew Winters, who's hiding back there, uh, and the whole construction team, the state and Cornell are working fabulously together to enhance the island. It's really become a true partnership, and we're excited on where it's going. So I'd like to hold you. Thank you, Susan. Cornell Tech is proud to be included in this wonderful ceremony to unveil the magnificent Blue Dragon. And we couldn't be more pleased that it sits close to our campus for all of our students, faculty, and staff to enjoy when we arrive on Roosevelt Island in 2017. Thank you so much to Ula and Gustav Prates. We are so lucky to be the beneficiaries of your talent and your generosity. Thank you to Susan Rosenthal of RIAC, Island resident Elizabeth Stapen, and Tad Sadal of Gallery Reba. Your perseverance in seeing this project through is remarkable. I swear the three of you, when you put your minds together to do something, well, you can move mountains, or in this case, dragons. And we are very grateful to you for all of your good work. And we are also very proud of our partnership with Gallery Riva, where we have our community space. And on a personal note, with the last name Swanson, I am today particularly proud of my Swedish heritage. Thank you again to everyone who made this day possible. Before we all take a photo together, I do want to thank certain dignitaries that are here because without their support, nothing happens. Uh, Kateria Matak, Tech of, uh, I believe you're here, of Congresswoman Seawright's office. No show. Victor Montesinos from uh, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney's office. We'll try the third one. Eric Rivera from State Senator Serino's office. All right, so it's a bad day. Ah. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And uh, let's all take a photo.